Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be trying the Flirty Talk collection. And I'm really excited because everything looks very promising, like I said in the last video, which was who a mess, but <laughs> it is what it is. I got my hair in pin curls because I want it out of my face, off my neck and stuff until I am done with my look. So we're gonna try out the eyeshadow palette, the blush, the highlighter, the heart stamps, uh, which I already actually tried out before and they came out pretty nice. It's a really nice look that I did, but yeah. And then from the lippy sticks box, um, I have like two shades that I'm going to be using, which is pretty exciting because I also tried out their lippy sticks already and girl, that formula is fire. And without further ado, let's just get into it. So what I'm going in with first is like a white base because quite frankly, I am black, so. Certain colors do not show up on me. Blending it out, blending it out. How exciting. Nothing new with me. Just doing the same old, same old. Lately, I would say I've been having more fun with social media. So that's a thing. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, I had fun before, but then it was like, I was posting for likes and stuff like that, but now I just post because I like to. And I like showing people my art. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Plus, when I get hate comments, obviously I'm doing something right. If you have to go out of your way to tell me that my makeup looks a certain way that you don't like, why is that running on your mind when you can just do your makeup yourself, you know? It is what it is though. Now my eye base is done. And here we have Blurdy Talk. So for the eye, I know I'm doing some type of halo thing. Halo eye look. We're gonna go with this red. It's called Lil Red Dress. Okay, that's a cute little name. I'm dabbing it, I'm dabbing it a little bit. And a lot of product is falling out. The palette doesn't really bother me, but if it bothers you, um, you might not like this palette. I wanna start in small circles, y'all, because I don't got time for it to get blown out of proportion and all over the place. Like I did with my blue look. Oh my God, I was stressed. Okay, this is nice. I like how it's blending. It's blending very nicely. I feel like this is a part where I have to slow down and take my time for real because keep blending it, it just only gets bigger and, and then it starts looking real crusty. Just wide and crusty. Okay, that's not bad. I feel as though I don't have to build up the product as much. You know what I mean? Like I go in, dap it one time, it's already there and it's like, oh, okay, that's fine. And then it blends out nicely. So I like it so far. <laughs> I like the mats. It looks so nice. Like, look at that. I'm gonna go in with the shade Talk To Me now because the other pink is kind of really light and I might want that to go in like the middle. You know what I mean? So we'll see. Like the outer part and see how that looks, which is pretty cool. It looks so nice and diffused. I really like it a lot. It's not patchy at all, which is great. Just putting the pink out to diffuse a little bit. Then I'm gonna bring the pink into the inner corners as well. Gotta be careful because if you keep blending it out, it's gonna get bigger and bigger until you can't control it anymore. And I don't wanna deal with that again, so. Let's just do this. What I will do as well is go back with the red to define it more. So, so far, this is how the eyeshadow looks. O M G. This joint is fire, okay? It's nicely blended. 
the fallout on my face there is none there's only like fallout on the pan which again fallout on the pan doesn't really bother me it's only fallout on the face that makes me want to be like ugh. okay and right now there is no fallout on my face you can't really see it but the matte has shimmer in it so it's nice and low a little shimmery a little shimmery here and there oh my gosh this is so fire oh my gosh my expectations have been met for this palette it's really nice i'm gonna go with this shimmer right here it's called cuddle up that's so cute and then i think i'm gonna put be mine as a topper on top of the shimmer which will be fire because it's glitter can't go wrong with that you know what i'm saying okay i like this a lot Feel as though it might feel better when you use your finger instead of a brush. Got it on my finger. Oh, yeah. Way better with the finger. And then I guess you can take the brush, right, and, like, blend it out. The finger application puts more product on the lid. The brush actually, like, diffuses it a lot more, too. I'm going to do the same thing with the other lid. And take my finger, put the, pat the shimmer down. Boom. Look at that. Hello? That's so nice. And then I'm gonna take my little brush, diffuse it on the ends. I'm actually gonna take the brush that I used earlier for the blending out on the corners and go back in to clean up the halo part. Now, the real star of the show. Mother freaking be mine. Cause it's a glitter and I get excited for glitter so I'm gonna use my finger for this because I'm not gonna cap I tried out be mine already for Valentine's Day it's fire bro finger method one more time Ooh, glitter so far this palette is literally getting a 10 out of 10 in my book because what what um, what? I did have a little fallout with the glitter, but honestly, it's not that much. And I easily brushed it off, so it's all good. It's all good in my book. BRB, I'm going to go do the bottom part of my eyelids. And now we're going to use the pink heart stamp. The big one isn't as bad either. It's just not as prominent on me compared to the red one. So I'm going to put it in the corner right here. A and hold it for a little bit I don't even know if this is gonna be even bro and then it's like that mm -mm -mm. it doesn't look bad the pink doesn't look bad at all honestly I'm really loving how this look is coming out so far um yeah the heart I think the hearts like puts it all together it just makes it like come as one and be like hey this is a Valentine's Day look you know what I'm saying I'm gonna use this liquid liner from AOA studio which is not part of the Flirty Talk collection. It's a part of a whole nother uh, brand. And I feel like I could stop right here, but in the face chart, I have rhinestones. And I got some rhinestones. I'm gonna do two rhinestones on each eye. I feel like it's gonna just bring the look all together. And then I'm done, I'm done. I'm not gonna put nothing else on there, okay? One here, one here. That's cute. So now that we're done using stuff that's not part of the video, <laughs> um. I'm gonna go in with this blush. Mmm, hot to touch, baby. Hot to touch. And honestly, I feel like it's gonna fit this look so much because it's just so hot pink. But it might not look hot pink on me. I don't know. I'm not sure. But we're gonna put it on, though. There is a little bit of fallout. But like I said, nothing too much to concern yourself with unless, you know, you already dress before you do your makeup. I think I went too heavy. I thought it was gonna be real hot pink on me, but it's not. 
all I can say right now is I literally love the blush. The blush, oh my gosh. I even though I went a little heavy handed in the beginning, all I had to do was brush it off and like it just settles in and look at it. It's so pink, but like it's not a bright pink that I thought it would be, which is crazy. Next, we're going in with this highlight. Ooh, ooh. It's called Heart of Gold and it looks bro it looks good i know it's pink but like i don't think it's like too pink a subtle type of pink you know what i mean it's barely any like fallout <laughs> i would hope not because highlight when it falls out bro when you brush that joint off oh my god next thing you know you all shimmery and i'm like oh Very subtle, I will say. I think what I like the most is the subtlety of it all. Oh my God, you don't even know I got it on. But it's like at the same time, I can see your skin shimmery and glowing. Like, what you got on, girl? I really like how this looks. Oh my God, so far, we're nearing towards the end. Girl, what? And then I did color some pink lashes. So for my eyelashes, I'm gonna put this pink liner on my eyelashes so it can blend with the lashes. So I put the lash on. Oh my gosh, it literally completes the look. Oh, I'm going to start doing this with lashes more. I, this is the first time I colored and um, put decals on the freaking eyelash. Like, look at that. Ew, it looks so cute. It's like a butterfly flying. Every time I blink, it's flying, you know? This is literally so cute. I'm gonna do more eyelashes like this. Like, what the heck? Like, oh my God. Now that the eyes are done, I feel like a literal fairy because it's just like, I got all these rhinestones. I got freaking butterflies. I got hearts. Like, I have so much incorporated into this look, which I'm really very proud of because I thought about it myself and I was like oh I'm gonna do this and then I put it on a face chart and I was like oh this is what it's gonna look like yeah it came out really nice and I'm feeling it I'm feeling it a lot and now we're gonna go to the lips Ooh, and look it's so funny all the lip products are literally pink I have a Juvia's Place Luxe liner in Koala and y'all I didn't buy this because you know we still don't support them because they said some crazy stuff in the past but yeah i got this from somebody and i was like i'm gonna use it till it's done obviously because i don't want to be a waste and y'all this liner is actually really good but i know there's dupes out there so i'm not gonna trip over it and then i have the two ColourPop lippy sticks that came out the lippy sticks box this one is cherry bomb and heart on i think heart on is very fitting because valentine's day hearts you know hearts and then uh, Cherry Bomb, that's literally like the ongoing theme for Floaty Talk, which is crazy to me. And I was like, I just picked this because that's the colors I made in the face chart. And I was like, hey, these colors match that one the most. So, yeah. Now I'm going to go in with Heart On. I'm going to go in with Cherry Bomb. I'm going to put the Fenty Glow Fantasy on top of it because I just like the sparkles and Fenty stuff. Ooh.
The gloss is a really nice touch to it. I like the gloss. Ooh, I like it. I like it. All right, let me go take my hair out, and then I'm going to show y'all what the look is all together. O M G 10 out of 10 the whole collection to me was a 10 out of 10 I enjoyed it I loved it I like it <sighs> down to the eyeshadow palette the blush the highlighter the heart stamps the lippy sticks which are not part of that um, flirty talk collection it is separate it's just its own box Colorbop did their thing okay and I'm really feeling this look I hope y'all like the look too I will be buying more stuff from ColourPop and that is a fact. Um, maybe I'll try out more of their collections because honestly, I really do like this collection. Other than the fallout and the eyeshadow palette, like I said, there's no fallout on the matte shades on your actual um, face, but there is fallout in the pan. And then for the glitter shades, when you put it on your face or in your eyelids, Yes, there is glitter fallout and it's pretty easy to brush off. Uh, I would say 10 out of 10 because first packaging, loved it. The eyeshadow palette, it went on very, very smooth and I loved it a lot. So I will keep using that palette and I like stuff like that. So, but yes, that is all I have for you guys today. Like if you wanna, comment if you wanna, subscribe if you wanna, stalk my other social medias if you wanna. And hopefully I will see y'all in the next one. Er